I'm Barbara, and with me is... Colleen, nice to be here. Yay, Colleen is a Brother National Educator. We're going to be talking about the Brother PR1055X multi-needle embroidery machine today. Oh, ooh, ah, it's so amazing. And, oh my gosh, we have tons of holiday projects coming up. I mean... Halloween is just around the corner, then Thanksgiving, and then Christmas, and just all of the other holidays in there. And man, do we have a lot of work to do. And this machine is awesome, and it's going to help you in a lot of ways. So um, what are we going to talk about today? Oh, we're going to talk about some Christmas gifts. We're going to talk about some Christmas stockings. We're going to talk about a specialty hoop that will make your life easier. You know, when I first saw it, I learned what brother called it, and I thought that was pretty neat. But once I got it in my own little hands, I found out it would do a whole lot more than what its name says. So I have to share that with you. And then I'm standing in front of it so you can't see my beautiful hat on my hat driver. So hats are so much fun. And I think if, if you stay with us till the end, I think Barbara may have a surprise for you about the hat driver. Yes. This is a really, really awesome piece. And I don't know if any of you have anybody in your family who wears caps, but caps cost a lot of money when you buy them in the store. My grandson just paid 60 bucks. What? My friend's grandson paid 72. He lives in a different state. I don't pay that much. Oh, but no. <laughs> I pay a lot less than that. But um, that's really a good way. I mean, who doesn't want to have a cap that's personalized? We're going to even show you how you can personalize it with their own handwriting. I'm so excited. And we have not one, not two, but three specials on this machine from starting tomorrow, actually, which are very exciting. But before we get started, Colleen, we have a ton of folks chiming in live. Let's just say hey to just a few. Hey, Jill. Oh, my gosh. She loves and brother embroidery machines. Oh, me too. Me uh, too. <laughs> and um, I am going to collect questions um, from everyone. So, um, oh, look, Terry's watching from Lafayette. Um, so just ask questions along the way, and I'll be asking uh, Colleen during the live your question, and we'll get an answer for you there. Also, if you haven't yet, uh, every All Brands show, we do give away a $50 allbrands.com e-gift card at the end. So to be eligible for that giveaway, just comment hashtag All Brands to be eligible to win. So oh, I'm so excited, Colleen. So that's the wide cap frame that you have on your multimeter. I do. I put the wide cap frame on and I'll take it off so they can see it. I probably won't run it because I have something else I want to show too, but um, it's it's really easy if you follow my steps. Oh, cool. I'll take it away. Okay. So we're going to start with the, it's a three piece cap frame and it's an amazing piece of equipment. And this one is the wide cap frame. So what does wide cap frame mean? Well, let me show you. This is a cap. First of, this, first of all, this is a cap done on a standard cap frame and it's pretty cool, isn't it? And I have a few here to show you. I'll just show you those real quickly. Um, that one is done. There we go. And oh, that's a blank I had ready. But to show you that some of the blanks have different things on them that makes them even more exciting. So that's pretty cool. This cap frame is special. And here's why. He can do a really wide design. Now this design is included on the machine as are several other of the wide cap frame designs. They're called ear to ear because they go just about from one ear to the other. But as cool as that is, and I have a couple of them I've stitched out. Here's another one you can do, another way you can do this. You can do the small design on the front and then you can do an additional design. So in this case, I did the flag, which is always appropriate. And then on this side, we did the name of the golf club. So these are given away as prizes for somebody in a tournament. And so that's a really fun thing you can do. And, and here again, you get three embroidery fields because the cap frame is so wide, it's really easy to do. And then if you wanted to, you could actually embroider on the back too. 
So those are some of my favorites. And then I am a quilter, so I'm allowed to say this. Quilters can hide their fat quarters. Oh my gosh, I love it. You know, and I, my husband great. will tell you that I have fat quarters hidden everywhere in this room. And then, of course, the American flag. And then, of course, on the other side, we have the breast cancer ribbon because so many of us quilters have been through that. And it's just really nice to show that support. So that's another fun thing. And all of these uh, last few that I've shown you are done on that 14 inch cap frame. So it works just so easily. So there's three pieces to it. So the first piece is here and it sits on the frame uh, or on the table of your machine and the reason that it's here is because have you ever tried to put a round cap on a round frame on a flat table well that's not very much fun so you just start with the cap over here and i'm going to pull mine off and put it there so you can see it and then piece two is the actual hoop because that's what this is called it's called the hoop and then the third piece is the driver. Just like you have a driver for um, your, any of your sewing machines, you know, the part that moves. Well, this is the part that moves and it has to be able to rotate. So this is so simple. And I'm going to pop it off the hat hoop here. And I'm not sure you're going to be able to see really well because I'm not sure I can move it around that much. But it's got a little clip. And I'm going to tell you the secret, because once you know the secret, you'll always get it right. See the little headband has two bars on it. The brim goes between the bars. So that's the most commonly made mistake I've ever seen. And one of the bars has teeth in it, and the teeth fit inside the seam line of the cap to hold it steady and to keep it from shifting. So that's what's important about this guy. So we're just going to pop him right here. Again, this is our framing gauge, so it just pops right into place. And that way this holds still. I'm going to swing that over. I'm going to pull the hat band out because I'm not going to tell you how I know this, but I do know for a fact that if you leave it down, it might get stitched in. And, and it's not nice to ask how I know that. But if you're laughing, it's okay. You only do it once or twice. So you're going to pull this in and you're going to take that two prong brim holder right over the top. So the, the bar with the teeth goes right in that front seam line and the back bar is going to go where, it, where it's supposed to. It never, it's never a problem. And there's a little teeny tiny itsy bitsy dot right here on the center of that bar so that you know exactly where it goes. So some of the cap I'm using actually has, um, to, uh, I'm sorry, has a, a seam down the front. If you're using one that doesn't have a seam down the front, then just mark it with a little piece of chalk or something. And then if you were old enough to ski in the old days where there was a toggle and you just put the little loopy over the bottom and snap it up and it snapped into place. And there are extra clips. And if you want the hat brim to stay in place, you just fold that hat brim down. Now, it's a simple matter. It was designed for a woman because or a man, whoever. There's a thumb tab right here, and there's fingers right here. So the thumb tab is just a little circle, and the fingers is where you can put the rest of your hand. So if you push with your thumb and pull with your fingers, it pops right off. Now's the secret. So I'm going to switch to another camera and kind of squat down so I'm out of the way so I hope you can see better. So here's my hoop. This obviously isn't going to work. I'm going to just and the place. And as soon as I come around, it'll be ready to clip in. Now, here's the second place where you can make a mistake. If you just push right now, there is a chance that you pushed a little too powerfully and you might move the arm a little bit. So if you put your fingers on the back side of the hat driver so that it can't move, you just, you'll hear it snap right into place. That one was so quiet you didn't even hear it. There, you can hear it snap and it is locked into place. So this guy is ready to stitch. That's all we have to do. Now this machine 
knows what hoop I gave it. <laughs> and so he will, uh, he actually shows me at the top of the screen. Let me see. It actually shows me at the top of the screen that it knows what hoop I have given it. So it will permit me to make a large design for this one that it wouldn't let me if I had put on the smaller cap frame or a different cap frame. Aren't we happy our machine is smart? Is that cool? So what do you think about the cap frame? Any excitement I, out there? Yes, very much a lot of excitement. So I'll come in and read some of the um, comments that we've had um, so far. And I agree. Um, Anne has the persona with the cat frame and the cap hoop. She needs to make some hats for Christmas. Great Christmas gift. Yes. Very personalized. Um, and we have two questions whenever you're ready for questions. Yeah, I'm ready for questions. I'm just scrolling down to show you where some of the hat designs are stored. There are several that include are included on this um, military camouflage type cap. I think the eagle would be lovely. And I just want to show you one little trick because the machine has worked with me before and it knows that I could make a mistake. So when I set the design, because it, it knows that the cap frame is on, it turns the design upside down because the cap is on upside down. Fair that right. way I don't have to remember. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to make that mistake. I love the machines that keep us straight. Uh, Darcy asks, uh, what's the best place to buy caps? Well, um well that's a very fair question um don't buy a cheap cap because a cheap cap always looks like a cheap cap buy nice caps and you're going to probably have to buy those you may want to get um a license so that you can buy them if you're going to do a lot of them you would buy them from a wholesaler because that is by far the best price and by and best quality it, it would be well worth it for you to, to do that if you wanted to do a bunch of them. If you're just doing them for your family, uh, you know, then just look for a good cap. It doesn't have to be super expensive, but what you're looking for is something where the stitching is all nice and clean, uh, where it's got good structure to it. The unstructured caps, the ones that are just a piece of flimsy fabric, are more challenging to embroider on. Yeah. If that makes sense. Debbie asks, uh, how do you hoop your hats to embroider on the back? I have a persona. Okay, so you can actually just turn the hat around and put the back over it. Or my favorite way is a brother sells a set of round hoops. And when you buy the kit, there's a drive arm and there's three different sizes of round hoops. And for those of you that don't know, round, round is perfect for holding the tension. So I just use one of the round hoops and I hope that in the back and it, they're, they're perfect every time because, you know, of course, we have the ability to curve right to the shape of that back because on our screen, we have the ability to curve something, our lettering. So you can make it just perfectly fit. And I'm sorry that I didn't bring one in that had the back done. No that worries. Was one okay. more question from Jill. Okay. Uh, I received the flat brim cap frame with her six needle. How useful is that frame um, if I have the hat hoop that came with the PRS 100? Uh, well, the hat brim, hmm. The flat brim <laughs> is specifically for flat brim. It does everything, to be really honest with you. It was designed to do the flat brim specifically because they're more challenging because of the width and the stiffness. But the flat brim cap is a treasure. It is an absolute treasure. It's um, for anybody that, that found, because some people find this, they have to think, you know, because the one bar goes in front and one bar goes in the back. The flat brim is just like putting on a, a, head, a headband on your head. So... Mm -hmm. It's pretty, it's pretty straightforward and easy. Let me come back over here so I'm talking to you instead of... No worries. Okay. I'm getting so many good uh, gift ideas for everyone. Oh, okay. good. Well, that's, well, that's what we fun. want. <laughs> I mean, we, there. Hello. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of hiding now. Any other questions about the cap? Uh, let's see. Just a lot of uh, love for 10 needles. Um, good idea. Um, Sharon's only used hers twice so far, so hopefully you get inspired, Sharon. 
here's one from Jane. What size? design size do you use on your caps approximately it's about two and a half by almost 14 or two and a half by five for the smaller frame here's a really good question from jane do you use the same drive from the flat do you use the same drive from the i guess the flat brim do they have the same driver they do not Okay. Good question. They do not. The flat brim driver is different. Mm -hmm. It's much smaller. It is uh, significantly smaller. So mm -hmm. no. Yeah. So the wide brim cap frame that we're showing today is only compatible with the PR 1055 X 10 needle embroidery Correct. machine. The flat brim cap frame is all three, the persona, the six needle and the Correct. Two needle. And Correct. the, the cap frame for the six needle and the Persona is the PRCF3, I believe, which is and the that, same. Yes. That's cool. correct. All right. Well, take Good it away. Job. I have a lot more to learn today. So this is really, <laughs> caps are just fun and they're wonderful. And um, the kids enjoy wearing them. The adults enjoy wearing them. There's, there's always trends in it. So um, a wonderful, wonderful uh, place to get going with the business if you wanted to. Because boy, oh boy, those men their caps. So I want to move on now because frame that I have over here in hiding and I'm going to show you what it can do first before I tell you the name of it. Because when brother names a frame, they name it for what they want it to do. But then, like I said earlier, when you get it in your own hands, you'll see other things that it can do. And you're like, wow, who knew that? But so let's get started with this one, because this is one of my personal favorites. Uh, if, if you're familiar with the tin needle, it comes with four hoops, uh, one and a half by two and a half, four by four, five by seven, and almost eight by 14. And those are um, just wonderful flat hoops that work with the A driver. You also got a B driver, a B arm, and there are extra hoops that can fit onto that. They're not included, but they gave you the arm so you could. Let me show you something that I think is kind of fun. So this is, I have the hardest time getting my, there. I have the hardest time getting these to show straight. I'm sorry, it's crooked. And I'm, try, I'm looking at my TV to try to readjust, but it's because I'm dyslexic. Anyway, this is a long design and it's following a, a pair of shorts. You can also do it on pants legs, which are extremely, extremely popular. And when I'm done showing you this, you'll understand uh, how, how super, super duper easy this is. So this is a little pair of sweatpants, little girl sweatpants, and it has a little sequin fox on it. And then I added the name Foxy because that's her nickname. Oh, there we go. I'll make her taller. Foxy on the leg. Now, you and I both know that on your home machine, that means you take apart the leg, right? How many of you want to do that? Oh, I don't see any hands in the air. So this machine, because it has a free arm, I can simply slide that pant leg right over that free arm and do that embroidery. Whoops, wrong leg. Slide that right over and do that embroidery uh, without having to take it apart. So that is the total beauty of a free arm. So here's another one of those things that you would use. So that's a long design instead of a little design at the top or across. It's a vertical design. Kids love that. It's a new it's a new way to go, and this is a kid design, so it's lots of fun. Now, this one has a special purpose in life. This one is covering up some stains. <laughs> so you know how children are when they eat. They're like adults. They make mistakes. So this guy has three little airplanes, and the little airplanes, because we can do this right on the machine. Oh, why do you stop moving? Because we can do this right on the screen as we're sewing. Come on. If I weren't dyslexic. I could do this easily. There we go. So there's a big airplane. There's a middle airplane that's just going a different direction, which is an easy deal on the screen. You just touch direction. And then there's a little airplane. And that's easy, an easy deal too, because this machine can do recalculation and change the size while adjusting the density of the design, which is super, super, super cool. So that's a fun thing to do for kiddos. Now, I guess I'm going to break down. No, I'll show you one more. 
it's a Christmas stocking. You can tell that's a funky little edge. So you'd have to stick something under there and hoop it. It's not impossible, but it's a challenge. Now this one's gonna show you what the sleep, the hoop is that I'm gonna show you. This is what it was really, really meant for. Let's see if I can get this up high enough for you to see it because this is so fun and so, 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 so popular right now. Football. And it's not just that football's popular. So is the sleeve. Doing the sleeve is ultra cool right now. It's like that extra step that makes a garment sell for more, that makes it more treasured and special. And so when this one has the word football on it, and it actually, I snuck a little, little football in there and that's right on the sleeve so that makes this shirt super special to wear for the football season so is that cool and then you'll find these much much easier to do when you're working with a pr because you're not having to worry about what the sleeves and the back are doing um, i personally know how easy it is for me to stitch the front to the back letters are a little special but on my scanning cut and they're genuine faux leather so if I could get it close enough to you which I don't think I can it looks like leather it feels like leather it isn't but is that fun so if you have a scan and cut it'll do the work for you now one more thing I have some Christmas stockings to show you I just showed you that one but I want to show you this next hoop and I want to show you another Christmas idea. My grandchildren are getting older and they're really, really hard to know what they want. So I made little tiny Christmas stockings and I put a candy cane hanging out the outside. And theirs have their name on them and they're all over the tree and they come and they take theirs off. And I think it would have been fun if we'd had video of them as they took out their candy canes and then realized there was something kind of stiff left in there. And that was that gift card. So uh, those older kids really enjoyed getting that gift card. The candy cane was fun, but the gift card was super special. And what's cool about these is that in your standard hoop, you can do several of them at a time by using one of the uh, formats on the machine, you can do multiples. So I did all of my grandchildren in one hooping. So you just uh, stitch and then I used quilting from the My Design Center portion. And you can use any of the quilting that you want in there. There's a bunch and there's a secret that I know, but I'll share it with you. You can actually make your own. If you have PE Design 11, you can make your own. So if you told me you wanted Christmas trees, you could have Christmas trees fillings. I know because I use that. Anyway, this was a really fun gift for the kiddos. Um, and I'm sure that many adults or, or you know, a lot of people would love to have this. So those are fun. Now I have one more because I want to show you the hoop to go with this. Is this is the hoop that I've been talking about. I did all those things with. So if you haven't met this hoop, his name is the sleeve hoop because that's what the engineers engineered him to do. But the minute I saw it, I went, oh, the front of a baby shirt or a onesie or my blue jeans or um, whatever. And I love this hoop. I absolutely, absolutely cannot live without it. Um, I've actually thought about buying a second one because it's so, so, so handy to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step over here and I'm going to remove and I'm going to put and I, I can just show you how it works. I, I was afraid to run the machine because I was afraid my microphone might pick up too much of the noise while because I'm standing close to it. But we all know how to do this part. The hat driver is just four screws, two on the top. Ooh, I tightened that one really, really tight. And two on the bottom. And I just slide that right undo those two. And I don't have to undo the bottom ones. I just have to loosen them enough. 
and it comes up over the pegs and it slides right on out. Well, it doesn't if you don't take off the hat driver. Look at that, that was pretty silly. Take off the hat first. There you go, and then it'll come right off. We'll see the mistakes I know how to make. There we go, turn it and that's off. And now I've taken the screws out and this will just lift right off. And now I'm ready to put on the B arm that comes with the machine. And it's clearly marked so you needn't guess. It actually has a B right on it right here. And so you're just going to pop that guy on and put him into place. Do we have any questions about the sleeve hoop? Let's see. All right. We have, um, I actually had a question and then I looked up the answer while I was sitting here. So my question was, which machines is the sleeve hoop compatible with? So it's the six and 10 needle, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Jane says, need that sleeve hoop. So the sleeve hoop, um, you have to purchase from your local brother dealer. So um, please visit an all brands location. Look, Terry's in the comments. He's our Lafayette store manager. And he oh. says, if you're in the Lafayette area, stop at an all brands Lafayette for a demo. Uh, he loves this machine. We'd love to show it to you. Um, but yeah, here is our locations throughout Louisiana and Texas. We have seven stores, um, all listed right here, uh, ready to show you that sleep hoop and the, the machine. I think I know someplace else that you might be gonna be soon too. Yes, thank you for reminding me. We're going to be at the Houston International Quilt Festival at the George R. Brown Convention Center, November 3rd through the 6th. We will have this machine there. We will have Colleen there. We will have the sleeve hoop there. We will have the best deals of the year. Um, and we actually have some really good deals on it right now um, that will be, uh, I can't let the cat out of the bag, but um, you can get it right now. <laughs> <laughs> from now until September 30th and it actually comes with the wide cap frame and if you mention this video from now until the end of September and you purchase the PR 1055X in one of our seven retail store locations from now through September 30th I will throw in the sleeve frame for you with the bundles that are on our website and from should i tell them all three or should we just we should wait oh i don't know do you want to torture them we could torture them a little bit yep, longer yep. okay why don't you say a little bit more <laughs> more to okay. come on the deal the, great deal. yes and i'm just gonna have to say we we do know how to have fun. We'll have fun with this at Houston. And you can see that although brother has named this the sleeve hoop, whatever you see it as in your mind's eye, if you see it as the perfect thing for a, a skating costume, then that's what it is for you. I did find one more thing that I had thought about, and I'm going to tell you this one because this one's really important. Some of you have children or grandchildren or neighbor children or whatever. And we, we, we buy them little backpacks and we buy them backpacks to carry their stuff in. And I, usually I won't put a name on a backpack. I'll put a, a design, a truck, a whatever for the kid. But I decided just this morning when I was getting ready, I was thinking, gosh, if I use the sleep hoop and I put their name down the back side of the backpack, when it's on them, no one can see their name. And that's the whole issue. You don't want anyone to know their name when they're wearing it and call them by name. But, you know, that's just for security, but it identifies that when they take it off on the playground and throw it down, which they do all the time, their friends will pick it up and return it to them. The same thing will happen if you put a little something on the front, like I said, a truck, a, a face, a whatever, uh, just something that will identify it as special. I know that when my kids were little and in school, that was how they always ended up getting their coats back because they weren't so good at keeping track of them. So I put the B arm on and then I'm just going to uh, slide this right on. 
and it's gonna, the hole is big enough that it's gonna slide right over that arm, no problem at all. And let's see if you can see what I'm doing or if I need to move to a better view for you. If I could become invisible and you could see through me, it would be awesome. But I haven't figured out that yet. So let's go to this camera so you can see the screen. And we're just going to choose, I don't know if you've seen the included designs on here, but there are a bunch of them. So this is a category that opens up another category. And for those of you who aren't familiar, this is a test pattern. So if you've just tried out a new thread or you've just changed something, you can always do a quick test pattern. These are small patterns. So there's a lot, just a lot, lot, lot in here um, for you to work with. There's the one you saw on the shorts. And then I think I showed you some of the hat ones. So let's go back and let's go uh, shapes, buttonholes. These are amazing for, um, let me show, I'm just gonna touch it so you can see the size. I'm just gonna touch one. It's almost four inches. So these are really pretty for scarf holes in a garment if you want to pull it through. Uh, and you have quite a nice variety. So, and then uh, designs to go around the buttonholes if you wanted to. So let's go back. Uh, this, of course, is our monogramming set, and I know monogramming is somewhat popular. Okay, it's ridiculously popular. We, I'm going to skip this because I'm going to come back to it. These are our jumbo fonts. So these are really fun, and I'm going to choose this jumbo font because I have had a lot of fun with this guy. He's about almost five inches tall, and if I touch set, I can come in here, and let's see, what am I going to do? Let's go to edit end. Oh, it's too much. It's too smart for me. It knows I have on the wrong hoop, so I can't do that. What I was going to show you is that I can leave out those colors and tell them not to stitch. But the machine was thinking ahead of me and it says, no, silly girl, that'll ruin the hoop. So you can't do it. So it does have a tremendous amount of self-protection built into it. So even if you think you're going to make a mistake in the beginning, you're not because it's going to help you. And then right down here on the screen, well, you see this little question mark in a film tab. And if you touch that and you touch the word video, you're going to see all kinds of different categories of videos. Where it will actually teach you because um, Auburn's is awesome to help you, but they are not going to answer the phone at two o'clock in the morning. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come in here and just touch a category and then touch this and it has a video. There are There is no sound to the video because the videos are in 11, 11 different languages. That would be too much. So it's just beautifully, beautifully done, um, but no sound. So we're gonna return to where we were. This one lets me personalize the machine to my choice. It's always gonna tell me what frame I have on. Then it's going to let me choose my colors. It's going to let me choose a background color. It's going to let me make all these choices. There are 10 pages of choices that you can make so that if I like something a certain way, I can personalize this machine to my way. And I love that. And then we are now we're going to come to the quilting. And again, it's not going to let me quilt because I have on too small of a hoop. But if it did, you have all of these quilting patterns for the sashing. You have two color patterns. And this one I love to, to show you because the size is limited. Are you ready? You cannot go smaller than 4.72 and you cannot go bigger than 118 inches. So 118 inches is a super king. I am a quilter and I quilt mine all the time. So I love, love that feature. And it will let you put them in and let you choose the hoop that you want to use. And of course, I always choose my biggest hoop. But now with the new magnetic hoop, well, we'll see. Anyway, I love, love that. Now let's go back to our normal alphabet because here's something you may or may not have done before. But I've got my sleeve hoop on here. And... I have that vertical alignment like I would for a pant leg. So I'm going to have to make a little bit of an adaptation. So, well, I didn't mean to touch that guy. Let's get rid of him. So let's write the word Papa. And we're just going to start with a P. And we're going to line them up this way. So we're going to go lowercase. And each one, see how it's lining them up for me? 
So it makes them in a straight and perfect line, which I really appreciate because it saves me a lot of time. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch set. So all the letters are in place and it's grouped it so that it would be very, very simple for me to move this large group anywhere I wanted it to, to be. But I don't want to group it right now because I want to move my letters closer together. So I'm just going to touch that to ungroup and I'm going to select the letter A. And then I'm going to use my arrow keys to just scooch it up a little bit closer and be a P a little bit closer. And the last A is kind of hanging down there by himself now. So let's scoot this up a little tiny bit closer. And we know they're all in a perfect alignment because the machine did that for me. So now all I have to do is to touch edit and before I go there, I could resize and rotate. I can change the density for lighter fabrics or heavier fabrics or fabrics that might have a nap where I want more. This would be colors. This is the icon I was talking about when I was talking about making multiple patches where I was putting patches on things so I can have um, or doing uh, multiples like the Christmas stockings. I forgot to show you the patch, so I'll grab that and show it to you. But you can also do that for the Christmas stockings. Copy paste. Alignment. Mine's already perfect. This will turn it into an applique, and I don't want it to be an applique, so I'm not going to do that. This will take it back to my design center. So if I wanted to, I can bring it back into my design center and quilt all around it. Not over the top, all around it. And this would be our fonts if I wanted to edit any of my fonts, which I don't really care about doing. So I'm going to just touch edit end. And we can rotate, we can baste. I don't need to baste it, but I could. This would let me delete colors. Sometimes there's things in a design I don't want to stitch. This will let me just pick them and cross them out. So it brings them up and you can, um, you can just literally tell it don't stitch and it won't stitch. So I love, love that feature. Uh, the snowman, I think most of you are familiar with. I, mean, I have problems hooping things correctly. So if I just put the snowman marker on first, then I don't have to worry about my hooping, especially on things like the little striped pants. If they're not straight, it's a mess. So they're always perfect with the snowman. This would be color sort to have it stitch all of one color and then go back and do all of the next. That's primarily for patches. And this one will make them all stitch, the whole, the whole thing will stitch the same color. So if you've got something and you think you just want it to be a single color, it will do that. That's really, really, really an awesome way to so great to show uh, great digitizing and how thread reflects the light differently. It's a really amazing, amazing piece. And then there it is, and it is ready to go. And before I start that to run, I want to grab the cap that I didn't show you because it got buried in the bottom. So let me show you this guy, because he's pretty fun. Oop, there he is. So this is a patch. So when I was saying you can put multiple patches in, you can make a bunch of these. I used to do a lot for the Boy Scouts that way for my son's troop. But this is also just fun for like a family outing. You can buy a little cap, a stocking cap or whatever, and make the little patch. Uh, the reason I did it for this cap is because when you turn it down, there's no thread on the back because it's a patch. So that gives it a really clean look, front and back. Very precise and very, very expensive looking. Uh, whether you're wearing it up or down. But I love that. And that is genuine faux suede. So it really looks impressive. Any questions about anything? I have one more Christmas stocking to show you. I didn't show that to these, to these guys, did I? I showed it to Barbara beforehand, but I haven't shown you this. I thought it was the cutest idea and I bought it. I haven't figured out what I'm going to embroider on it yet, but I think I know. But you can see it says letters on it. Just thought it was actually a little. Um, button i'm going to unbutton it here so you can see inside it actually has oh come on it actually has a pocket at the top so that you can put in your letters to santa 
And then on the back is your actual stocking. So you can, you can put their letter, they can put their letters in and then they can find out on Christmas morning if they got that or not. I was thinking it'd be fun for me. So each grandchild could put their own letter to Santa uh, in the uh, envelope and it would make it easier to pick out presents. So what do you think? Has this been fun? Do we have any good ideas generated? Any good questions going? I think I'm super inspired. Renee says, oh my goodness, love it. <laughs> Fabulous. Uh, so cute. Uh, Jane says, I love design center and the camera. Um, we did have one question come through about that awesome sleeve hoop that you have yes. on the chain. Um, what's the sewing field size of it? And it's three inches by eight inches. Correct. It's just yeah. a hair less than that, but it is, I have found it to be extremely useful. Yeah. And you know, it's so funny. We had the conversation before this live. Um, I had someone ask me, they were like, well, that machine looks more intimidating than the single needle. Um, that, that just seems much more simple and right, much more up my alley. And I was like, well, is it simpler? To, because you can thread 10 needles at once, have it sew out without you having to go back to the machine every time to change the thread. What a time saver, especially when you're pumping out professional work orders. But not only that, but you know, like specials that you're working on, like for, for presents. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So why not just have it set up so you can press go? <laughs> it borders everything and then you come back and it's done. That that's not intimidating to me. Right? No, it's really no you know it has an automatic needle threader. And the same as if you're if you're familiar with any of our tabletop or home machines, it's the same type of needle threader system. You just have to get the needle close, the thread close in a certain track, and the threader will pull it through for you. And so it's a simple task to thread all 10 needles very quickly. And then I've been known to go downstairs and get a cup of coffee. So mm -hmm. I piece on my quilting machine and then have my 10 needle doing like the real stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the wolf jobs. Totally. Um, <laughs> oh, totally. and Jane commented, um, this is why I bought the 10 needle for all of the hard to hoop items. So it's a lot less intimidating because you can do tubular embroidery. I, I think in a perfect sewing room, you really need two machines. One should be a multi needle, the six or the 10, because that gives you the freedom to do all the fun things you could do hats and shoes and boots and um brother has made a bunch of specialty hoops that make it easy to do those tasks okay. and sometimes i mean i've seen people want the hoop so much they bought the machine because they they wanted to do something that the hoop would do so they bought the machine to make it work yeah i did this quilt on my 10 needle the same oh, one cool. Yeah, I did all the stippling. I did the piecing on my luminaire and then okay. I put the, the pieced quilt in the 10 needle and then through my design center just did that. See, the fill. thing about my design center, and, and I mentioned that you can write your name and that can it can actually stitch out your name in your own handwriting. Um, I've stitched out a recipe from my father's favorite thing that he made everybody for Christmas every year. And it's just fun to have those, those stitched memories, those special memories that are, are wonderful. Yeah, yeah. So I know we had a little teaser earlier about uh, the third special for this machine right now. For, uh, it is the year is 2022, in case you're watching this <laughs> in the future. Uh, it's currently September 15th. Um, and oh, this crisp weather is just, I'm loving it. I'm so inspired to be creative. Um, so we have, this machine comes with the stand, the cat frame, and the derky seven in one. So frames. you mean that big cat frame, that big 14 inch cat frames included? The wide one, bigger is better. <laughs> Do you know what that, oh, that's an expensive piece. They're lucky. Yeah. Um, and then also, if you mentioned this video, I said that we'll throw in that sleeve frame 
with the purchase of the 10 needle. And that's for, that's from now through the end of September. But for a limited time, we have, oh, and here's a, here's a picture of it if you'd like to see. So the machine, the Durkee 7-in-1, which is awesome for hard to hoop items, um, where you can float on top of sticky stabilizer and it just drapes over the edge, wide cat frame and um, stand. And then here's the kicker. You can get 60 months, 0% financing uh, from now, actually it starts tomorrow, uh, Friday, September 16th through Monday, September 26th. We're offering financing on that. So great deals on this That's machine. amazing. Yay. That's this really machine. amazing. This machine's amazing. The machine we have itself is amazing, yeah. <laughs> amazing deal. Yes, I agree. Well, this machine is phenomenal, phenomenal. It, it is. I could not live without one. In fact, we talked about, my husband wanted to tour the country in a motorhome, and I said, where's my PR going to be? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I actually know someone who has a PR on a stand in their motorhome. Really? That's cool. Yes, really. The stand is bolted to the floor. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> and the machine has locks on it to lock it into this stand. This stand is a really nice stand and it's locked into it. So very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Um, we just have a few more comments and then we're going to do our giveaway. And so if you haven't yet, guys, comment hashtag all brands and gals. Um, okay. So here's another question from Cindy. Very good question. How do you get it serviced when you need it? <laughs> Brother has a phenomenal warranty on these machines. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called the premium warranty. And they have Brother dealers located all over the country. Hopefully, allbrands.com is near to you. Um, and again, here's our locations. And we offer uh, warranty service on these machines. And I can tell you that Brother stands behind their product. Not only do they have a phenomenal product, but they have a phenomenal warranty program. So you will not be um, waiting a long time to get service or anything like that. Every Everything run very smoothly. Um, yeah. So... Here's another question from Rebecca or comment. The pin needle is perfect for t-shirts. It's perfect for just about anything. Yeah. Yeah. Here's one from Susie. Do you get free classes with this machine? So when you purchase from allbrands.com, we show you how to use the machine one-on-one -on -one in the store. And you can come in anytime after that to ask questions. We're here to help you. And then remember also that there are videos on the machine itself because all brands may not be open at two in yeah. the morning when you need that help because you promised it for, for church in the morning or what, you know. So there is help right on the machine mm -hmm. that you can see the video and walk through a lot of the basic functions. Yep. And one thing that I love that got me inspired for my design center and different projects that you can do on the 10 needle is uh, the PR playbook that they have. And it's, it, it's a project based um, tutorial. So you end up with a tangible item. They have full color tutorials and they show you step-by-step step the image and the button that you press. And it's a good way because these machines do so much to kind of wrap your head around as like, what am, what am, which function am I going to use with this machine? Because there's so many things it can do. So just like Barbara said, it has a direction and then it has the icon. And the icon is exactly the same icon as you have on your machine. So you're not going to have to wonder what it is that you're touching. You're going to read the step by step. And then, by the way, there's also right here in the front a video card. Now, what I recommend that you do is that you watch the video card on your computer or tablet so that you can follow along with the lesson. If you're using the machine screen to do it, then you can't interact with the screen. So I would play it on my computer or my tablet, and then I can follow it step by step. 
So there's a bunch of lessons and projects on the video card also. Very cool. We did have a question earlier. Um, if the sleeve hoop fits the older model PR 1000. Yes, it yes, does. It mm -hmm. does. Um, Coca the Smith. Only, oh, go ahead. The only one that I know of that it won't fit, I think, and I would, we'd have to double check that is the old PR 600s mm -hmm. and six, two, 602, those two. Yeah. And these machines are workhorses too. <laughs> we still get those in, yep. um, you know, for just maintenance. Um, let's see, uh, where do you get the playbook? So your local brother dealer, hopefully it's all brands.com. Um, she says, uh, Coca Smith says, love the sash frame too. Do you have that one? The sash frame I have, let's see, some of the frames I have in another room. Let me see if it's in here. Mm -hmm. And it is. Yay. That's what I used to quilt my quilt here. Um, oh, definitely. Yeah. It was really cool. I'm tearing apart my. I'm, oh, I'm no. <laughs> so, this is the sash. I'm going to hold it the way it's oriented on the machine. This is the sash frame. So, it doesn't have an arm or attached to an arm. It simply attaches, you know, up here with the two screws. And you're always, always going to want to use the table when you have this because it's a pretty heavy hoop. But it is magnetic. It comes with a little. Um, flipper and I don't have mine out here. Yes, I do, but it's across the room. But I can just put my thumbs behind the thumb tab and pull these right off. And then when I let go of it, you're going to hear how loudly it clicks. Now, as a testimonial, I, because I'm the one, if you give them something to try, they're going to try it to the fullest extent. I did a heavy seamed jean jacket with no issues. We did a Carhartt jacket and I've also done really, really fine uh, organza. No marks, no problems. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Here's a question from Fran. Can baseball caps be done on the luminaire? Well, yes. It's not much fun because you have to make them flat. So there mm -hmm. are hopes, they're not made by brother, they're aftermarket, and you have to make them flat. Well, a baseball cap, let me find one I've got here, does not want to lay flat. So only the part that you can stick to sticky paper will work and then you'll start to see a crease so it has to be kind of a narrow design and then a little bit wider um i would just go buy a pr but <laughs> yeah that's my advice if you're going to do a lot of caps uh we have one more question and i was uh going in the background to look it up for susie um she asked and what's the warranty barbara oh my gosh susie look how cute your little kitten is um so the premium manufacturer's warranty from brother is 25 year head six year electrical and two year parts and labor if you want to read all the ins and outs of it i have a link that i will um, put in the comments for everyone um and that is right here. It's an amazing warranty on an industrial style quality machine. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you can, yeah, these machines are awesome. <laughs> All right. It is. And these it. are friendly too. That's what I like. <laughs> Very cool. So just to um, recap everything for everybody, mention this video from now through the end of September, 2022. And we will throw in that sleeve hoop with you uh, with the Super Side Hustle Bundle. And for a limited time from the 16th through the 26th, uh, you can get 60 months, 0% financing on that 10 needle. It's awesome. I have it, I love it. 
Colleen, I was reading on your bio um, online. Uh -oh. It said, what's your favorite place to sew? Mm. And it says my well-equipped sewing room. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, because you have the tools. <laughs> You're not, yeah. yeah. You're not lacking at all with the 10 needle. It's such an no. asset. If the 10 needle makes life easy. Yeah. It makes life easy and wonderful. Yeah. Speaking of wonderful, you're wonderful, Colleen. Oh, thank you so thank much you for being on the show. <laughs> so are you. You're wonderful too. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in Houston. That will be fun. Yes, yes. I hope I, some of the I hope some of our guests can make it. Yes. So I'm making currently making hats on the 10 needles. <laughs> We're all making hats. Any purchase of the 10 needle and our color theme is black this year. We're gonna have black bags and black hats. For anyone that purchases the specials at the quilt show um we also have amazing deals there it's such a great place to get inspired to meet people the weather's going to be so nice in houston and uh it, it's just it makes my year every year just to see everyone and all the beautiful quilts it's nice to see all the nice people i will say though Barbara, with all the specials that you're doing, if they're going to buy, they probably want to buy right now. Yeah. Yeah. I would. Yeah. Because this deal is very, very, very this good. This deal is very impressive. I haven't seen them do the 14 inch cap frame in a very long time. Yeah. Yeah. And that ends at the end of September. So. Right. Oh, Susie, never been to Texas. Need to go. Yes run don't walk to the houston quilt festival it's the biggest quilt festival in the world and it's so inspiring so wonderful i'll be there colleen will be there also angela wolf green will coxon cindy hogan becky thompson from power tools with thread we're gonna have wendy chow the weekend quilter we're gonna have Emily Thompson from Life So Savory. We're going to have Joanne Banco from uh, Let's Go So. We're going to have Colleen. We're going to have Barb Michalichek, Brother National Educator, Barbara Jones, Brother National Educator, and Heather Banks, Brother National Educator. And oh my gosh, we're going to have Sweet Pea Embroidery Designs is going to be on the main stage doing demonstrations on the Brother Machines. They do all their show outs on Brothers. They love Brothers. So they're flying in from Australia to come and, and hang wow. out with us in the booth there. Carrie Cunningham's going to be there. Um, so Steady and Westerly is going to be there with us, as well as Designs and Machine Embroidery and brewer and much more <laughs> so that's a long list the good thing we have a big big space yes yes we'll have a very large space and we hope that you can all join us and i'm actually going to be going live on angela wolf's show next wednesday to be talking about the awesome deals and uh, we're going to do a meet and greet in the booth at noon uh, we'll have our demo schedule um, released sometime next week so that you can come to the show and watch live demos on our stage. We'll also be streaming live virtually, but it's just not the same as being there in person. Um, oh my gosh, and more. <laughs> so come and see us. Uh, and that's, again, that's November 3rd through the 6th at the George R. Brown Convention Center at Houston, Texas, and you can register at quilts.com. And allbrands.com will be hosting the brother booth there. Woohoo! <laughs> we know where the fun will be, don't we? Yeah. So, but last but not least, we have a giveaway to do. So, am I in see. it? Oh, let's see here. We're going to do a giveaway, and y'all go ahead and comment hashtag allbrands because apparently I'm going to have to pick it from the comments. So, that's fine. Let's find one that I'll pick at random. Let's see. Oh, I just saw one. Here we go. Y'all ready for the winner? Drum roll, please. 
and our winner is Reva Way. Congratulations, Reva. You are a winner. Go ahead and email me at events at allbrands.com to claim your prize. I'll need your name, number, and email address, and then I'll send you a code with $50 that you can use on our website, www.allbrands.com. We're the first internet retailer of sewing machines. Uh, we're a family owned and operated business since 1976, and we're so excited to continue to be the leader in um, sewing and crafting essentials for you. So congrats. Congrats, Reva. Oops. That's exciting. <laughs> I'm excited for her. Mm. Go shopping from the comfort of your bedroom. That's cool. Yes. yes. Well, I think that's it. Thank you so much. And thank you everyone thank you. for watching. Fun. <laughs> All right. Until next week, I think we're doing, uh, next week is patches with Heather Banks, I think. Or, ah, uh, uh, I can't remember. Hold on. Oh, no, it's Sarah. Sarah Vetzer is going to be next week, and we're going to be doing six needle um, projects. So more multi-needles to come. And then the next week, we're going to be doing patches with Heather Banks. So uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel on Facebook and YouTube so that you can be aware of upcoming videos that we do every Thursday at 3.30. All right. Thanks, Colleen. Thank you. Have a You're great awesome. day. Oh, yeah. You too. Happy fall, y'all. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.